Asian Jeff recently showed off all of his updated Fortnite settings on stream, so I thought we'd go ahead and check them out. If this video helps out, feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Alright, so for his video settings to begin with, his windowed mode is on full screen. His resolution is a stretched resolution, that's 1720 by 1080. By the way, if you want to get a stretched resolution as well, check out this tutorial on screen. Along with that, he's got his V-Sync off, his frame rate limit matches his monitor's refresh rate that I believe is 360 FPS slash 360 Hertz. And in addition, he's also got his rendering mode on the lowest graphical fidelity, with his brightness on the default 100%. As for his colorblind mode, he is using Tritonope on strength number 8. He's also got his rendering distance on far. I believe he's also got his textures on high and his meshes are on low. Next, we've got his game settings. Now, a lot of these are just the default ones. The only one that's really worth mentioning is the edit on release. He's currently got that off. Next, we've got his HUD settings. Now, for his reticle ammo indicator, that's turned on. His damage numbers are on cumulative, which, by the way, if you didn't know already, does automatically add up the damage dealt for you instead of manually listing it. On top of that, he's got his damage numbers scale on the max 125%. As for his HUD options, I believe his HUD scale is 80% right now, even though it does say 75%, and the rest of these settings are just basically default. Well, apart from the spectator count, he has that off for some reason. I think it's maybe for the pressure or something like that. Next up, we've got his mouse sensitivities. Now his X sense is on 4%, his Y sense is on 4%, his targeting and scope are both on 35%, and he's got his building and editing sensitivities both on the default 100%. Oh, all these sensitivities, by the way, are on a mouse DPI of 1,600, and if you're wondering why his DPI is so high, I recommend checking out this video on screen that'll explain everything you need to know. I believe he's also using a mouse hertz of 1,000, and I think he's got the default mouse sensitivity on Windows and I'm pretty sure or certain rather that he's disabled his mouse acceleration. Next up we've got his double movement or rather keyboard movement. Now he is using the custom diagonal control so he's got this enabled. I believe he's also got his forward diagonal on 65% and I think he's got his strafe angle on 75 and his backward diagonal on 135. By the way if you want to find the best movement settings I recommend checking out this video on screen. I'll leave a link below. Next up we've got his sound or audio settings. Now for his volume sliders, these are all personal preference. However, for his sound quality, that is on high and I believe he's also using visualized sound effects. Next up, we've got his key binds. Now, starting off with his movement, his crouch is on left control, his jump is on space, and I believe his sprint is on C. For his loadout, his pickaxe is on one, his slot one is on two, slot two is on three, slot three is on four, slot four is on five, slot five is on six, and his use key is on mouse wheel up. And for his building controls, his wall is on F1, his floor is on F2, his stairs is on X, his roof is on Z, his trap is on T, and his building edit is on F. Moving on to his gear slash setup, his mouse is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight in white. His mouse pad is very secret, but you can get it if you'd like. If you go over to Asian Jeff on Twitch and gift him 500 subs, he'll actually tell you, so feel free to do that. As for his keyboard, that's the Razer Huntsman V3 Pro in the 10 keyless configuration. His monitor is the Alienware AW2521H 360Hz monitor, and his headset is the Beer Dynamic DT990 Pros. Moving on finally, we've got his PC specs. He's using the Lian Lai case, the Intel Core i9-13900K processor, the Gigabyte RTX 4090 graphics card, the Asus ROG Strix Z790E motherboard. He's using G-Skill RAM in 64GB, I believe. His SSD is the 980 Pro Samsung 2TB, and his power supply is the Corsair HX1200. Next, we've got his Epic settings, which I assume have been optimized too. If you go onto the launcher to the top right, click on the settings tab and make sure to copy all of these preferences right here. And most importantly, make sure the desktop notifications are disabled as these can cause lag spikes or rather hitches slash stutters. Then if you scroll down to the bottom right here, you can go ahead and put these command line arguments inside. That's land play, no splash and use all available cores. Here's what each one of them does on screen right now. In addition to that, 
you can go back into the launcher, specifically under the game, click on options, and make sure you've got all of these Fortnite install options like this on screen. Most importantly, you want to make sure that the disable cosmetic streaming is selected slash enabled. Another thing you can do is press the Windows key plus R on the desktop, go into local app data, then find the Fortnite game folder, go into saved, go into config, go into windows, go all the way until you see game user settings, open that up and then you basically want to copy the exact settings I made in this video on screen. I'll leave a link in the description below. After that back in the run box do the same process but this time go into the Epic Games launcher then saved then config then windows and inside the engine file here you want to paste in this command which I'll have in the description below. This is something that's been recommended by Epic Games themselves to better your download speeds. Moving on we've got his Windows settings which I assume have been optimized as well. If you go to the uh, start menu on the bottom left, then go into system, then go into about and click on the advanced system settings, then go into the settings here under the performance, adjust for best performance and tick all of these boxes on screen. You can also go into your game settings, turn on game mode if you like and also make sure hardware accelerating GPU scheduling is on. This works better for higher end PCs. Also in the privacy tab under the background apps you want to make sure all of those are turned off and another thing you can do is press ctrl alt delete go into the task manager find fortnite running while the game's opened right click on it go to the details then under the shipping exe if you right click on it and set the priority from the default normal to high this should give you a pretty significant fps boost as well but moving on to his nvidia settings firstly i'm pretty sure he is using the latest driver with all the newest settings along with that i'm pretty sure he's got these exact 3D NVIDIA settings set up on screen. If I slowly scroll down you can see them all right here. These have been optimised from this tutorial on screen. For his network settings I'm going to assume that these have been optimised too. If you go onto your desktop now Windows key plus R then put in this command right here. Then go into network adapters, select your main connection. If you right click on this and update the driver that's highly recommended to make sure you're on the most latest drivers for that. In addition you can go into the properties too and optimize some of the settings within here the power management you want to uncheck both of these then go into advanced and if you basically copy my settings on screen right here this should improve your internet and lower your ping and that right there has been all of asian jeff's fortnite settings in chapter 5 if the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you all in the next one and feel free to check out any of these videos on screen right now